story we first brought you yesterday. A new FAA report reveals the number of near crashes involving airplanes and drones. Since June, there have been 25 reported close calls, mostly near busy airports. The report comes as the FAA is preparing to release its first set of rules on drones by the end of the year. Al Jazeera America travel contributor Todd Curtis joins us now from Newton, Massachusetts. Todd, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. The FAA just made public the number of near misses with drones and aircrafts. Any of this coming as a surprise to you? Not at all, because uh, drone technology has uh, really progressed uh, greatly in the last few years where it's very easy for almost anyone to buy and operate a very, very capable drone. Yeah, and you're talking about how easy it is. I mean, one of the top tech buys this year are drones, selling for between 500 bucks and $1,000. Then you've got Amazon toying with the idea of using them for delivery purposes. Can the system handle that many drones in the air? The system can handle that many drones as long as those drones stay out of the normal airspace system. Now, fortunately, most of the people who do buy and use drones do so responsibly. But like I said, these drones are very capable. And it's possible for someone to fly a drone relatively high in the same area that uh, airliners use. And when that happens, you'll have these potential conflicts and potential safety issues. Do you think people who are flying these drones need a license to do that? I don't think so for a bunch of reasons. The biggest one being that technology has progressed so fast and so far that you can operate a drone basically uh, programming the drone to fly autonomously. That is, you don't have to understand the basics of aeronautics, the basics of flight control system. That's already done for you by the drone manufacturers. Okay, so Congress told the FAA to come up with a plan for safe integration, um, which will be uh, happening by September of uh, 2015. The FAA said it will be incremental. Is that enough, do you think? Well, that is enough because basically what they're talking about in, in, uh, incorporating drones into the national airspace systems, uh, that is addressing the higher uh, profile drones, the drones that are very, very capable, that can literally fly in the same airways that airliners fly. The vast majority of drones that are bought and used today are not designed to do that at all. They're designed for recreational purposes, designed to be flown a long way from airports. So really there is an apples and oranges situation here. Yes, they do have to regulate those drones that are flying high and fast, but regulating those that are flying very low and slow, that's another different uh, situation, and I don't think the FAA has addressed that one clearly yet. So what do you say to people who are flying these drones? I mean, doesn't common sense say not to fly them near airports? Well, not only common sense, the FAA dictates that they should be flown in such a matter as, manner as to not interfere with air traffic, including uh, near airports. Now, realistically, there are going to be some people who are going to be uh, not very bright when it comes to following the rules or who will deliberately violate those rules. And unfortunately, with any technology, that's going to happen. I think uh, the vast majority of people do have common sense and are not going to be operating in a reckless manner. And when it comes to sort of drone versus airplane, I mean, we've seen what birds can do, nearly take down a plane. What do you think would happen with one of these drones coming into contact with a plane in the air? Well, most of the drones that are sold at uh, department stores on Amazon and such, they're so small that the likelihood of any serious damage to an airliner is very, very low. For the very large drones, the kinds that are designed to operate in the, in the national airspace system, those are typically larger. Some of them, like the Predator and the Reaper, which are used by the military, uh, there are some that are similar in size to those. Those are like small aircraft. Those could certainly do severe damage to an airliner. And the, the, the potential for, for risk is very, very high, which is why those kinds of drones, those higher level drones, are going to be under much closer regulation than the common commercial drones that you and I can buy off the shelf. All right, Todd Curtis, Al Jazeera America travel computer, uh, contributor. Thank you so much.